Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ambal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on the UPSC Engineering Service Examination. In the questions in the subject, hidden mass transfer. So, here we are going to take few questions on the heat convection. First question, thermal boundary layer is a region where heat dissipation is negligible. Inertia and the convection are of the same order of magnitude. Convection and dissipation terms are of the same order of magnitude. Convection and conduction terms are the same of the same order of magnitude. The correct answer is within the thermal boundary layer, convection and dissipation terms are of the same order of magnitude. Next question, heat is lost from a 100 mm diameter steam pipe placed, in, placed horizontally in ambient air at 30 degrees Celsius. If the nacelle number is 25 and the thermal conductivity of the air is 0 0.03 watts per meter Kelvin, then the heat transfer coefficient will be 7.5 watts per meter square Kelvin, 12 watts per meter square Kelvin, 25 watts per meter square Kelvin and 35 watts per meter square Kelvin. The answer to the question. The heat transfer coefficient from the Nusselt number, Nusselt number equal to HD by K for the cylindrical system for the pipe. So, from this equation, H heat transfer coefficient H equal to Nusselt number into K by D, which is 25 into 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.1 equal to 7.5 watts per meter square Kelvin. So, the answer is 7.5 watts per meter square Kelvin, option A. Next question, air at atmospheric pressure and 27 degrees Celsius blows across a 12 mm diameter sphere at a free steam velocity of 4 meters per second. A small heater inside the sphere maintained the surface temperature at 77 degrees Celsius with K equal to 0 0.026 watts per meter Kelvin and with an assault number 31.4. The heat loss by the sphere would be, there are four options. 1.93 joules per second, 1.76 joules per second, 1.65 joules per second, 1.54 joules per second. The correct answer is 1.54 joules per second. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the heat transfer coefficient from the Nusselt number, Nusselt number equal to HD by K for the sphere. So, this is H equal to heat transfer coefficient H equal to NU into K by D 31.4 into 0 0.026 divided by 0 0.012 equal to 68.03 watts per meter square Kelvin. The heat transfer Q equal to H A into T S minus T infinity. A is the area which is pi D square for the sphere. So, H pi D square into T S minus T in T S minus T F substituting 68.03 into pi into 0 0.012 square into 77 minus 27 equal to 1.54 watts is the answer to the question. Next question, in force convection, the surface heat transfer coefficient from a heated plate is a function of Reynolds number and the Grassoff number, Prandtl number and Grassoff number, Reynolds number and the Prandtl number, Reynolds number, Grassoff number and the Prandtl number. So, the surface heat transfer coefficient of a heated plate is given by Nusselt number equal to 0 0.332, Reynolds number to the power 0 0.5, Prandtl number to the power 0 0.333. So, it is a function of the heat transfer coefficient is a function of Reynolds number and Prandtl number. It is desired to increase the heat dissipation rate from, a, from the surface of electronic device of spherical shape of 5 mm radius exposed to the convection with a H equal to 10 watts per meter square Kelvin by, by encasing, it, encasing it in a spherical sheath of conductivity 0 0.04 watts per meter Kelvin. For maximum heat flow, the critical diameter of the sheet should, shall be 20 millimeter, 18 millimeter, 16 millimeter and 12 millimeter. The critical radius of the sphere Rc, R2C equal to 2K by H, 2 into 0 0.04 divided by 10 equal to 0 0.008 meter, which is 8 millimeter. So, the critical diameter equal to, it is radius, so 8 millimeter is the radius, critical diameter equal to 16 millimeter. So, the answer is 16 millimeter. In liquid metal, thermal boundary layer develops much faster than the velocity boundary layer due to lower value of Nusselt number, higher value of Prandtl number, 
lower value of prandtl number, higher value of nusselt number. The answer to the question, the relative thickness of thermal and velocity boundary layer depends on the prandtl number. For air and the gases, prandtl number equal to 1, the velocity boundary layer, thermal boundary layer thickness are equal. For liquid metal, the prandtl number is very much lower than 1. So, thermal boundary layer thickness very much higher than the velocity boundary layer thickness. For ethylene glycol and the engine oil, prandtl number is very much higher than 1, where the thermal boundary layer thickness is very much lower than 1. So, here it is liquid metal, thermal boundary layer develops much faster than the velocity boundary layer because lower value of prandtl number. Option C. Next question, consider the following statements. For laminar condensation of vertical plate, Nussel theory says that inertial force in the film is negligible compared to viscosity and weight. Heat flow is mainly by conduction through the liquid film. Convection in the liquid film as well as vapor is neglected. Velocity of vapor is very high. Which of the above statements are correct? 1, 2, 3, 1 and 2, 1 and 3 and 2 and 3. The correct answer is 1 and 2, they are correct. For condensation in a vertical plate, inertia force in the film is negligible compared to the viscosity and the weight. Heat flow is mainly by conduction through the liquid film, convection in the liquid film as well as vapor is neglected. The next question, large heat transfer coefficient for vapor condensation is achieved by film condensation, dropwise condensation, cloud condensation, dew condensation. The answer is dropwise condensation. So, the two condensation processes are shown here. So, the first diagram it shows the film wise condensation and the second diagram shows the dropwise condensation. In the film wise condensation, you may find a film of water always on the surface of the uh, plate. So, the freshly incoming vapor uh, penetrate through the liquid film and then reaches the surface for condensation. Whereas in the dropwise condensation, the condense condensate is available in the form of droplet. The freshly entering the fluid, entering vapor, it has direct access to the surface. So, the rate of condensation, heat transfer coefficient, the rate of condensation is more in the case of dropwise condensation. So, here the answer is dropwise condensation, but a drop is, the maintaining dropwise condensation is very, very difficult. Next question, in transition boiling, heat flux decreases due to the, due to which of the following? Low value of film heat transfer coefficient at the surface during the, during 100 degree Celsius to 120 degree Celsius surface temperature, major portion of the heat surface is covered by vapor film, which has smaller thermal conductivity as compared to the liquid. Nucleate boiling occurs very fast. Select the correct answer using the code given below 1 only, 2 only, 3 only, 1, 2, 3. So, 2 only. We will see how. So, the second statement is major portion of heat surface is covered with vapor film, which is it has smaller thermal conductivity as compared to liquid in the case of in transition boiling. So, look at the diagram here. So, this is the region for transition boiling. So, the heat transfer coefficient decreases for the heat, heat transfer is decreasing in the case of transition boiling. The reason being, look at this diagram. So, this is the transition boiling. You may find at the bottom of the uh, play, bottom of the vessel, you may find the liquid vapor. So, which covers the surface because the liquid vapor is covers the surface, the heat is to be transferred through the liquid vapor. Where for liquid vapor thermal conductivity is low, so the amount of heat transfer is less. That is why the heat flux is decreasing in the transition boiling region. The next question, consider the following statement for nucleate boiling. For water, the critical heat flux does not exceed 1 megawatt per meter square. Nucleate boiling is the most desirable boiling region in practice because of high heat transfer rate. Heat flux increases at a higher rate with the increase in temperature. Which of the following statements are correct? 1 only, 2 only, 1 and 3, 2 and 3. The correct answer is 2 only. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, this is again the uh, boiling curve. So, the nucleate boiling. So, the first statement for water heat, critical heat flux does not exceed 1 megawatt per meter square. So, here the critical heat flux is more than 1 into 10 power 6. So, that statement is wrong. 
Second statement, the nucleate boiling is the most desirable boiling region in practice because of high heat transfer rate. That is true. So, this is the nucleate boiling. A to C is the nucleate boiling region where the heat flux is more. So, this is the most preferred uh, boiling condition. Then heat flux increases with the rate of temperature, rate of rate, uh, higher rate with increase in temperature. That is not true. So, if you look at here, so here the temperature increases but the heat transfer decreases. So, only correct answer is 2 only. Next question, in dropwise condensation, the heat transfer rate is 5 times less than the less than that in the film con film based condensation, 15 times less than that the film based condensation, 25 times more than that uh, in the film based condensation, 10 times more than that in the film based condensation. The correct answer is 10 times more than the film based condensation. Dropwise condensation, in the dropwise condensation, the heat transfer rate is 10 times more than the film based condensation. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, here we have the diagram or the figure of uh, dropwise condensation and the various features of the dropwise condensation. Vapor droplet are found on the surface, condensing surface. More condensation area is exposed to the incoming vapor. The heat transfer coefficient is 5 to 10 times greater than the film wise condensation, but it is difficult to maintain the dropwise condensation. So, chemicals like oleic acid, ceric acid, benzyl mercaptan are applied to the surface uh, uh, which will be retained for some time. So, when, when, when the surface is working for a longer time, when the condenser is operating for a longer time, so these chem chemicals will be removed from the surface again the film wise condensation will appear. Surface coating like a gold and a silver platinum is possible, but it is very costly process. So, drop wise condensation, the heat transfer coefficient is 10 times greater than the film wise condensation, that is the correct answer. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. Uh, I upload the video lecture of all the subject, subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel, uh, learn the subjects better. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. We will meet again in another video lecture in the sub, in this, in the subject heat and mass transfer. Until then, bye.